Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to use the bulb ramp setting on the Micron time lapse device. I couldn't see any other tutorials around as it's a relatively new product, so I thought I'd make one. A fun feature on the Micron, and one of the reasons I bought one, is the ability to bulb ramp time lapses, smoothly transitioning them in changing light conditions like at sunrise and sunset. So to start, open the Micron app on your phone and select the top option, New Time Lapse. We then have the option to change the time lapse settings, so click on the duration button and change it to what you want, but an hour is fine for this example. We can also change the interval too. I'm going to set it to 15 seconds for this time lapse. We then have the option to select auto or manual mode, depending on whether your camera is shooting in auto or manual mode. I shoot in manual so I'll select that. Then hit the advanced button and click the bulb ramping setting. We then have to choose what delay we want. Do we want to delay the start of the bulb ramping in our time lapse or not? I'll choose a 20 minute delay. We then choose the duration of the bulb ramping. I want 30 minutes for my time lapse. Then, go back and click Initial Exposure. Here's where I tripped up previously. I have a Canon 7D and found it can only reliably shoot in bulb mode at one fifth of a second or longer. For this example, I'll use an initial exposure of one second. Finally, we'll work out our exposure change. Here we can see it says we'll take 240 frames, the final exposure is going to be 1 second and our interval is 15 seconds. Now, as we adjust the f-stop change for every 10 minutes, we need to bear in mind that the final exposure has to be at least 1 second less than the interval. In this case, my final exposure is to be 12.13 seconds, which is a change of 1.2 f-stops for every 10 minutes. If I went to 1.3 f-stops, my final exposure would be 14.83 seconds, and there isn't the required 1 second gap between my 15 second interval. So once that's sorted, go back, make sure you tap the on button, and then go back again to the second page, the numbers are circled at the bottom of the screen, and then click the arrow button to the right. Then, once your camera is connected to the Micron, and the Micron to your phone, hit upload. And don't forget that your camera must be in bulb mode for this to work. Here's an overview of the settings I used in this tutorial. While I've been playing with the Micron, I've found that if your exposures aren't coming out smooth or correct, then you need to try a longer initial exposure as it's likely that your camera can't accurately expose faster shutter speeds in bulb mode. As you can see, I've been getting quite a lot of flicker in my time lapses. This is probably due to my camera more than the Micron itself. To remove the flicker, you can use software such as LR Time Lapse. You might also be wondering about what initial and final exposures to set for different situations. All I can say is that it's trial and error. If possible, take some test shots the day before and go back and do your ball ramp the next day. I've found that an f-stop per 10 minute change of 1 or 1.2 is good for sunsets. If you want to shoot sunrises, just change the f-stops per 10 minutes on the Micron app to negatives. Thanks for watching. 